Well, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. It's late morning for us here. I've got Jeremy with me, one wild crafter, and I'm gonna be doing a mini survival challenge. Jeremy will be around. He's not gonna be super active in this challenge. He's doing his own little thing, but I want to do a survival challenge to see if I can produce uh, shelter, food, water, and fire from very minimal materials. I'm gonna be using an ax, a saw, a shovel, hooks and sinker, a pot, and this piece of cedar that I collected earlier. Hey guys, first of all, thank you for clicking on the video. Second of all, I want to thank my sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. This is an epic RPG game. The graphics are really, really cool. They're unlike any other game. They're not cartoonish, they're more dark, they're more raw. As you get going through the very in-depth storyline, you're gonna get stronger and stronger, more powerful by collecting more and more rewards. Go PVP against other members, or you can join a clan and get even stronger. All right guys, I'm just gonna turn the camera out and I wanna show you exactly the gameplay so you get a better sense of what's going on here. In Portal, you open your shards and you find your new characters. In Tavern, you can upgrade and sacrifice your champions battle, hit up a clan boss, and win rewards. In the battle area, you can play against other players, PvP. And now, the highly anticipated battle pass is on. Season 1 is live now, and you can win awesome rewards, including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and new epic and legendary champions for fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. You can find me in the game under Wooded Beard, and if you're quick enough, you can even join my clan. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and if you're a new player, you'll get 1,000 silver plus one free champion Hexaweaver. All of these treasures will be waiting for you right here. You gotta hurry up because these rewards are only gonna be available for the next 30 days. Best of all, the game's completely free to download and it's available on desktop and on mobile. New members, when you download the game, you're gonna get a new champion called Dark Elves. This is a very good champion and it's gonna help you progress in the game a lot faster. As always, use the links down in the description below. Good luck and I'll see you there.
I've already started a little bit on the shelter, if you, as you guys have already seen. It's more of a spot where the shelter will be built. I have a few hours to go and I have a ton of work to do. It may seem like a lot of materials, but you notice that I did not mention any means of producing fire, which means I have to make a friction fire from scratch. <laughs> it's, that's not going to be easy. Trust me, I've done enough times to know that it's not going to be easy. So if I get even two or three of these challenges knocked out, I'll be pretty, pretty pumped. I'm pretty sure I can get the shelter done. If I can get a hole through the ice with the ax, I can probably get some drinking water and a shelter I think I can do. The fire is the really big thing and the food, fire and food. Fire and food are gonna be the tricky ones. Okay, I can't mess around anymore. I gotta get going because I'm, frankly, I'm running out of time. The days are short, it's the middle of the winter. What can you expect? So let's get to work. Maybe this doesn't look like too much right now, but I like this overhanging tree here and there's lots of dead stuff to burn. Like all these limbs here are dead so I could burn them. But I'm mostly interested in like the fact that it makes a nice canopy here and I can tuck up inside there. In fact, I could probably just use this as is to get most of the shelter done. And there's lots of spruce around here. Just grab some limbs and toss them up top. So as you can tell, we've got our line in ready so we're we're looking for food now we've got the water taken care of next thing we need to look at is fire because i'm not drinking that water straight out of the lake so that would be a failed challenge just even having the water i could drink it but i might get sick so it's kind of split on what i should what's the priority shelter is always the thing that people talk about so I should probably work on the shelter and then while i'm watching the line i can work on getting the fireboard made I think Jeremy's off grabbing some firewood. 
Uh, there's a real shortage of tinder here. I did see a little bit of grass out front, so I might grab that. It's not a lot. <laughs> there's the, I mean, there's birch, or uh, not birch trees, but there's white birch here, or yellow birch. Yellow birch is, well, hey, let me show you what yellow birch looks like. It's, it's terrible. It's, it's absolutely garbage for starting fires because it's, I mean, it has the same oils as the white birch, but it's very, very fine. Uh, fibers and you, you can't get that bundle that you want so I'm gonna have to find a white birch somewhere and uh, shave it up that's the only hope I have for really good tinder uh, aside from like taking a long time and shaving down a cedar tree bark I've done that before I might have to do it today but I would try to avoid it if possible so I really think like I can have ready spot ready here for the fire but uh, I think maybe I'll collect some spruce and make my canopy so that at least I have a shelter and that kind of knocked off. I mean, it's one that's guaranteed so I can have one win. Um, like I see, there's no guarantee on the fish. <laughs> this is really not a guarantee on the fire. Let's see what we can make happen. I'm just following Jeremy here. He uh, came back with a really interesting find. I'm like, dude, you gotta go back. I can't just let you come in and show up with really cool specimen because people are not going to believe. See what we're up to. Just got to spin my yeah. snowshoes around. You need like a big turning radius, right? <laughs> yeah. So it looks like Jeremy is collecting really, 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 really dry kindling. Yeah. Like this stuff, I've never really seen something like as dry as that as far as the cedar goes but there's no moisture in that at all none. no i don't think so no there's it's none super dry well you can tell like you can tell by how it sounds yeah it sounds hollow and the smell the smell and the weight the weight there's all different clues right yeah and then when you touch it yeah i find you can tell the moisture of any piece of wood just by touching it and yeah. then there's another way yeah you have a little taste test you can put your lips on it <laughs> i don't know if i subscribe to that one but i can feel i can feel that there's no yeah. water in that yeah so that'll make a good bojo set yeah i don't like the fact that you don't have a really thick long bottom base yeah um i can cut a thicker one off of this so this is my source yeah this is wind throw so it uh i don't know where the rest of it went but um this is the stump and usually cedar is really dry standing and so I just split split a piece off here and there's the possibility of splitting a somewhat thicker piece off if you want to hold these I'll just yeah or we could wax get the saw it. and then yeah cut a cleaner piece I don't have one with me but you want hold on a sec Jer yeah because I'm pretty particular like sure. this isn't going to get dry or wet we're, we're, I'm confident we can put this on the ground and we want to Jerry's a little worried I'd rather just hang on to it <laughs> right <laughs> um there hasn't done enough friction fires to know. I can I can make a fire to that 100. percent Yeah, 100. percent 100. percent I'm guaranteeing it now. All right. With that wood. So if we, what I would want to do is cut here, and then I'd want to shave it till it was a flat board. Yeah. So like, you wouldn't want to take this board edge here. You want to take this, I want this the, board here. The whole thing, and then I'll have <coughs> like I'll, square one. I'll come back. I don't I don't mind taking the time to come back because I think this pretty much guarantees our success. If I cut here. Yeah. And then we and, and then, then we work to make a board. You can't split cedar, right? If you try to split it, it'll go all janky like this. And so you get uh, uneven thicknesses most of the time. Well, yeah, it depends on the grain in the cedar and then it depends on the knots. Yeah. How it twists. And if you split it in the middle, it usually splits even. But if you split it closer to an edge, it often doesn't. So anyway, that's that wind throw, meaning uh, it broke off with the wind. That's all it means. And then it's been sitting there drying. I guess it's getting enough sun um because there's no canopy over here and that's helping to dry it so jeremy's got another interesting thing over here he says so i was gonna take spin this is another wind throw you can see the roots are tipped up at that end right yeah so this is wind throw and it's dead lying here okay so it's dry yeah and i was gonna take a spindle off of a branch but they're rotten inside yeah so but i don't know if you've ever had much experience with spindles off of branches but they work very poorly i uh <laughs> in, com and I in comparison <laughs> A friend and I did um, a hand drill it's, off of a piece of dead cedar and a, a straight cedar branch and we got a fire going. But that was in the summer. It's possible. I'm not saying it's impossible. We're saying it, you're better off to take a full tree or a big yeah. tree and whittle that down into a spindle size than it does to make um, 
to, to use a branch by itself. In yeah. most cases, you'll have much better luck. Look at how dry that is. Yeah, that's super. That's even with the snow sitting on top of it. Yeah, that's what I mean. So look, yeah. so Jerry's a little concerned that it's not going to work if you put it in the snow. <laughs> oh. Like this one's not good for much. That's oh, my that's your hand. It's a kindling piece. It could yeah. be a hand drill one, but you yeah, yeah. you can't get this wet again. Like you could not soak easily. this. No, you can't. I guarantee you can't. Overnight, you can't sit there overnight. You need you need force pressure to push the moisture back into the grain. Oh yeah. I mean time too, but uh, that's the rotting process of it sucking back up. But once it's in that state, it's you can dry. do a whole lot of to that before it won't work as a friction fire. So anymore. you can, that's why when you travel with your bow drill set, it's usually pretty dry because it was dry to it's start with. It's already dry. And I, and I don't, you've seen how I take care of my bow drill set. It just goes like, wherever. Yeah. Throw it in the bottom. See now you don't take care of your <laughs> bow drill set. No, because first of all, I know how it works. And second yeah. of all, I know how to make it work. Yeah. So I don't concern myself with dumping that in the snow. That, yeah. That'll work 100%. So we're, we should be good as long as we just need now um, to get the right uh, dimensions on that. And then we need to get it to fit right into the bow yeah. so that it doesn't slip. Yeah. But that'll work. So just a little bit of whittling to do. Yep. All right, let's Carving do time. it. Let's do it. Good kindling. Indeed. What else needs to happen to this? <clears throat> Thinner. Thinner? Yeah, it's pretty thick, dude. All right. I'll know when it's right. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
All Just right, keep then. carefully taking material off. That's all carefully. you can do. Carefully. Because you're getting close now. You don't want to blow it. And then you have to start again. Jeremy's been doing a lot of whittling. Whittling. And uh, he's got a uh, base. <clears throat> base is pretty good. It's a little thick. Uh, as is the spindle's a little thick. I don't actually mind it. It's now that I have it in my hand, I like the thickness. It's uh, obviously way too long, so we'll have to trim that down <coughs> a little bit. Um, you can see it doesn't even fit in the frame. It's so long. It's probably as long as my torso. Um, so we'll trim that down a little bit, and then I've got the start for the bow part and the bow is just a cedar branch there's nothing special about it just grab a cedar branch it's already got the natural bow in it <clears throat> it's not under tension when we tie the rope on there it's not like you tie it tight and then it stretches um this together or anything like that it's just it's actually loose because you have to be able to put this inside the string and be able to move it so you don't actually want it to be in there super tight so i'm going to add the string now I'm gonna put this out of the weather because it's pretty much sleet right now. It's like the absolute worst conditions to start a fire in, period, let alone a friction fire. You see that? Jerry, you see that? Mm -hmm. That's how I like it. So that, that'll make the round part. Now we need this to be the low friction end of it. So we're gonna make this as pointy as we can. So there's gonna be a pretty big difference between the two because we don't want friction at the top end. We only want it at nope. the bottom end. So we're gonna make this like a spear point, which is also very dangerous because if you're applying pressure- Yeah, and it slips. <laughs> and it slips, then you uh, get it in your hand. Yeah, maybe don't make it so pretty then. You don't want it so pointy? <laughs> you scared, Jerry? Yeah, I'm worried about my hand. You don't trust me? You can have the bottom hand then. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there's the top and the bottom. So that'll be low friction end. And we'll stick that into a top bearing block. And then we'll have the big friction end at this side. Yeah, you decide to keep it full length, eh? Yeah, <clears throat> it's no, almost as long as a hand drill. That's perfect. Because yeah. how many fires are you going to get out of that? Yeah, you're going to get a lot of fires <laughs> out of that. So then you don't have to build it 10 times. And if it doesn't work the first time, you still got a lot of spindle left to work with, yeah. which is the whole principle behind it. Just gonna, we're gonna have a fight with mother nature, which we're already doing anyway. Yeah, these are not ideal conditions. So this is not gonna, it's not gonna do very much right now. Anyways. Oh yeah, there we go. That's promising. So the problem is we are sloped downwards. So I'm having to fight. Yeah, yeah. good yeah but the string is loosening yeah yeah so there's a lot of slippage so we're gonna straighten the or take some of the tension out of the string now that it's stretched out um, I don't want it too tight because it's too tight will smooth the spindle too loose and the spindle doesn't um, spin it wants to spin on its own so you got to get that right balance pretty slim pickings in the winter for tinder we happen to have right by our spot some dead grass so <laughs> we're gonna use all we can it's also wet dead grass but wet dead grass is better than no grass at all if nothing other than to just kind of hold what other kind of bundle we can get together on the outside um, grass like this is it's obviously dead cellulose which is what we're going for I can feel it it's soaked <laughs> it's like you can put a lighter to this right now and it wouldn't light but it's all we got to work with right now. So if nothing else, it'll make a nest to kind of hold some of the other materials that we get together. We'll be able to get some birch bark. Birch bark's not the ideal tinder. 
because you got to kind of work with it to get it to thin out. And anything you're making out here right now is getting rained on really badly. In fact, I don't even think this is worth anything. <sighs> you put it in the sun and maybe dry it, but is the sun out? Of course it's not. It's not going to help us because it isn't here either. Okay, let's get some birch bark and uh, some cedar bark. That's our only hope today. So we got a good old friend here, the cedar tree. The cedar tree's provided our bottom and our spindle. Maybe it'll give us some tinder. It's like one of those things you kind of want to collect in advance and then dry. Um, just working on this tree is dropping wetness from on top of me. But this is the right texture, this fuzziness here. But we need to collect a really, really big handful of it. So Jeremy's going to be collecting some as well. And once we get this, we can kind of, like this is dry to the touch. This will actually work. It's just the volume that we need to produce. Of course, it wants to land everywhere until we get those fibers to kind of break and mesh together. Like we can probably get some strips off here and it might hold together a little bit better. Oh, the dry stuff's up too tall. All right. Come on, let's jump. <laughs> it's a snowshoe jump. <laughs> like a little white bunny. That's what they do. Hippity hop. Hippity hop. I get this one. I'm a young spry guy. Oh, oh my back! Oh. <laughs> 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 Quick, curve me a cane. Oh, I think I busted my cervix. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I came out of nowhere. <laughs> so there's our dry bundle. We got our another twig bundle up there, but that's as good as we're going to get for dry stuff at this moment in time. So we're going to make do with this. Let's get this going. We don't have a fish to cook, but we got some water to boil. So that's something. And Jeremy put together a little cedar base here from the shavings for making the set. And we've got a couple of twig bundles, twig bundles up here and then more shavings. So I think the shavings are probably the best bet to go on the fire first, and then uh, we'll load up the sticks next. We want the fire to be tucked up in here and you can just sleep up under the tree. Yeah. In a perfect world. Perfect world, it's not dripping water all the time. Yeah. It is constantly, constantly dripping water right now. Yeah. If you want to take a little bit of pressure off that, can you Grab the bow and put your top hand up. Yep, sit back. Good. Just get a good, good pace going. So Jeremy's just helping me off camera here. I'm just gonna keep going because we gotta fill a huge notch up. Yeah. Well, you mean it's not done when you get smoke? No. <laughs> so we're just trying to fill that notch up right now. Got lots of smoke. That's what's working. The rope is slipping, so I'm yeah. using my hand to take up a little bit of that, that uh, slack. So let's wait for a second here. Get lots of water in there. Getting some. <laughs> yeah, there was a drop pretty much right in there. Round number two. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm gonna tighten that rope up again. Oh, twisted. Did you feel you twist there? A little bit. The weakest part of any bow drill set is the top board. Yeah. If you can get a top board that is like metal or whatever, a yeah, cheat yeah. on it, it's literally the hardest part to get right. So you don't have to fight it. I don't know, I'm not looking, I'm not feeling very confident about this, Jerry. <laughs> no, the conditions are definitely stacked against us. Oh, brutal. We we'll have to eat raw fish. If we catch a fish. Yeah. <laughs> just, just getting 
smoking the top out. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It looks wet here too. Because the top's dry. Yeah. The top handle is dry. And the bottom is. I mean, this thing now is just soaked. It's completely waterlogged. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's uh, sliding more than making friction. I'm gonna go out there, see if we can at least get, at least get an ember. That'll be something today. All right guys, we've got a bit, a bit more room to work around here. It's flatter. It's, uh, trees are not dripping on our head as much, but it's still dropping water. The base is soaked. The spindle is soaked. The only thing that's really dry is the thing that shouldn't be dry. <laughs> this thing. Step in. Yep. Okay, so keep it. You just kicked all this going. There. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ready? Yep. Okay, so don't twist my hand. Keep her straight. No, don't, not, not that hard. Not that hard. Just, you're just, this is just, <laughs> just left. Just, like, just steady. Okay. Right. But, but put your hand over, but don't push too hard. Because okay. then we gotta, so less pressure. Yeah, okay. Well, that's. Oh yeah. Started to make some good smoke at the bottom though. Yeah, see it's plowing out the top. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And then once it gets too far yeah. gone, it just goes. I feel like it's making more smoke at the top than the bottom again. For sure it is. Yeah. yeah. 100%. <clears throat> I think we're just fighting too hard against the conditions. Well, I mean, we'll, maybe we'll try again. We still haven't caught a fish yet, so maybe I'll... We'll, gotta have some kind of wind today. I mean, we have a set. It just... This is <laughs> dripping. Everything's dripping. Dripping. Everywhere. We had smoke. We had more smoke at the top than at the bottom. The bottom... Or the top, I should say, more smoke at the top than the bottom. The top is grinding out too fast. Like the bearing, top bearing block is soft wood. So I think that may have something to do with it. It's also not hardened. Like my top board, I usually keep around. It's in the sun. It hardens. And when it hardens, it becomes slipperier. And with slipperier, it's less friction. I'm making like 90% of the smoke at the top rather than the bottom. I mean, this, this will work. This will work if, if the sun comes out right now. And we just put it in the sun for a few minutes. It'll work. It stops raining on us and we get some of the heat from the sun. Not working. But uh, I get my second and third line in the water. Maybe I'll actually catch a fish. So, so far, if all I got is the shelter. Are you guys impressed with my shelter? Because that's all I got. The shelter built. Um, got the potential for food. Got the potential for water. Well, I could just drink the water, but I'll probably get sick. And we got the potential for fire. This stuff's hard, man. Real hard. Oh, I'll sit in my shelter. Collect my thoughts, anyway. Oh, it's mud. It's wet. It's real wet. But the good thing is, it's <laughs> up in here. It's <laughs> nice and dry. <laughs> but I have no place to do the bow drill fire. I mean, maybe if... I don't know. I could maybe do it up in here. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I had four hours, I could get that set to work. But uh, how much energy I would have at the end of it for the other things? I don't know. But hey, we're gonna have a fire no matter what because a good survivalist 
is always prepared. We got a lot of slush here. It's not because we're gonna go in the drink or anything like that. It's a, when it rains, it sits on top of the ice and then and then it does has no place to go so it just sits on top and then the ice kind of drops on top or the snow drops on top of it and then it never quite melts it's insulated so that's where we're at now but uh hey no bites can't force it can't force it and we can't let all this wonderful collect wonderfully collected firewood go to waste we still got to boil that water i don't, I don't even know if this is going to light <laughs> perch bark sopping wet it's bad like bad bad like, I might not even be able to light it. I might not be able to light it with this birch bark. It's crazy how wet it is here. Like, I bet you that doesn't go up in a flame. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so freaking wet. <laughs> oh, is it gonna go? It's got to literally dry that birch bark before it burns. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to pair up with another piece of birch bark just to get this going. We might get it. We just might get it. Oh no! Oh come on! moved it just at the wrong time and I think a big drop of water landed in it. <laughs> there was no way we we're making a fire today, Jer. <laughs> yeah, what's the primitive? No. Not happening. <laughs> this is bad guys this is real bad I mean it's not an emergency but if you can imagine if it was like forget it <laughs> well guys, what a freaking disaster. If you count uh, scooping water out of the lake and uh, you know breaking through with an axe, then we won. Um, I didn't get fire, I didn't get food, I didn't get water. I mean, I guess I got shelter. It's something. So I got something. There's a few things that hung us up. I think the weather is one of them. The weather wasn't a factor today. We probably would have been able to make a fire. I, I'm almost guaranteed the food, how all that water dropping in the bowl drill so over and over and over again is really killing us today. 